Hey, is your website mobile friendly? Just because you could pull it up on your, let me get a phone. Just because you can pull it up on your phone doesn't mean that it's mobile friendly. Now, exactly five years ago today, April 21st, 2015, Google released one of the biggest search engine algorithm updates that ever impacted websites. It was commonly referred to as mobile geddon. Basically what happened was Google no longer gave search priority to websites that did not have a mobile friendly or mobile optimized websites. If your website's not mobile friendly, we're no longer going to show your website in search results when people are searching from a mobile phone. Now that was five years ago and Google wanted to put an end to these non-mobile friendly websites. But still today, we still have websites that are not mobile friendly. Why is this even such a big deal? You know, it's not just teenagers that are on their phones. It's everyone. Everyone is primarily using their mobile phone to browse the web and interact online. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Brad Poirier and I'm a content strategist. I help small businesses like yours get clarity on what content they should be creating so that way they can grow their business. If you wanna learn more about creating content that converts, then consider subscribing so that way I can help you give your content a kick in the butt. Now, to clarify one thing here, web designers in the past, from April of 2015 and on, have been making websites that were for desktop mobile friendly, but all they were really doing was making it mobile compliant. They weren't really designing with the mobile user experience in mind. So this is what I'm really gonna be talking about today is ways to look at your website and kind of do a mini audit of your website to see if it passes these mobile friendly barriers, these mobile friendly checks. So I've got five ways that will just tell you whether or not your website is actually mobile friendly or not. You just follow along with me through my client's website for a restaurant here so that way I can show you what components go into making a mobile friendly website. So the first thing you'll notice is this kind of what we call the header. The header is basically the very top part of a website. It often stays there throughout your scrolling experience. Sometimes it doesn't, but that's actually a sub little thing is, is making, especially in mobile, making sure that the mobile header is what we call sticky, which basically means it sticks um, to the top of the page. So that way the menu is easily accessible at any time. So if you have a you know, perhaps a longer home page or a longer menu page, um, you don't wanna have to have that person scroll all the way, all the way back up to the top just to um, get to the menu basically. But the other part of that header is that you wanna make it smaller. Um, I often see websites where the, um, I'm always trying to figure out how I can actually show this here, but. Um, I see websites where the header kind of takes up like half the phone. Um, it, you know, so every time you go to a new page, you have to immediately scroll because that header is taking up most of the space on the phone. I think that's a big no-no. Um, it just, it's a small, subtle friction point. It's subliminal, but I think it's enough to make people frustrated. It makes me frustrated anyways. And that's how I usually look at things. If it gets me frustrated, it probably gets someone else frustrated. Okay, the second thing is an easy navigation. So if you'll notice here, if I go ahead and tap on the menu here, this is super easy um, to navigate around. I don't have to go looking through a whole bunch of things um, to kind of get what I want to. And again, this is a restaurant site. I mainly deal with small businesses. Another thing to consider is uh, if you'll notice in the top right here, there's a little uh, phone icon that makes it easy for me to call the restaurant. So if I tap that call button, it's basically gonna prompt me to basically open that phone, up or phone number up in my dial pad without first having to copy the number down or remember the number. The third thing to consider is easy text or that the text is legible. So one thing we don't wanna do is place it on backgrounds that are very hard to read. So if you'll notice here where it says best sports bar, 
it's in larger bold type. So even though there's an image there, it's easier to read. And there's also a bit of what we call an overlay on top of that image. So it kind of darkens the image up basically uh, so that it's way it's a little bit easier to read that text. Okay, the fourth thing that is a super no-no, this probably drives me more nuts than anything else, is not using PDFs or images to display content. So I'll give you an example here for a restaurant. So if I go to their, um, to their menu, you'll notice here this is super easy to read. Uh, I can close or collapse different sections of their menu. So this is what I call an interactive menu. But this could be a services, lift, a services list if you're a service-based contractor or if you're just like a brick and mortar place and you just have like a bunch of images of like your promotional signs and stuff like that. Um, to me, that's a huge no-no because when you're viewing on a mobile phone, you often can't read that. You know, you're thinking that everyone's viewing this from a desktop and they're not. And so what happens is I have to now kind of pinch and zoom my way around that photo, especially if it's a menu. Uh, it's by far the most frustrating thing viewing a website is when you use PDFs or images to display your content. Retype it, do something, just get it into an interactive form like this menu here. And the last thing is using call to action buttons that are specific to the mobile experience. I touched on it a little bit ago with the call with the phone call button that was at the top there, but you'll also notice here on the home page I have a couple buttons. Uh, one of them is tap for GPS and the other is tap to call us. Those buttons do not appear on a desktop. So if you view this website from a desktop, you will not see those buttons there. This only appears when they're viewing it from a mobile device because that's where you're going to be calling from. So just consider um, the type of call to action that you want a customer to make device specific. So all in all, what I would just say Go through those five things I just mentioned to check your website out, but basically just, is your website easy to get around from mobile device? And don't look at it yourself. Perhaps have someone else look at it because you're too close to it. You know exactly where all this stuff is. Give your website to someone that's never viewed it before, like a friend or a family member, and just kind of say, hey, is this easy to browse? Is this easy to get what you would be looking for if you were shopping for my service or product? Um, if it is, then great, then leave it alone. Don't, don't, fix a bro don't fix what's already working. But if it's broken a little bit, then consider evaluating the content that's on your website and the design and layout. If you'd like, dr shamelessly drop your website address in the comments here. I'll take a look at it for you going through these five steps and then I'll reply to that comment. No questions asked, there's no email, there's no contact or anything needed. Just put your website in the comment and then I'll review it and then I'll reply back in the comment. I won't be harsh. I'll just basically tell you yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, through these one to five kind of things. However, if you are looking for a more personalized approach, um, I do offer content strategy services where we can go through your entire website line by line and really discover the broken pain points of it and the things that are working. Um, but otherwise, that's about it to make your website mobile friendly and the things to look at. Again, consider subscribing if you have not subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.